Well, do you feel like cutting some firewood today? Go check your owner's manual now and see if your chainsaw has this cool feature on it where you can switch it from summer to winter mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that on this chainsaw and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. This is a Steel MS-230 chainsaw. It does have the feature on there where you can go to winter mode. Before I show you how to do that, just really quick, I have to tell you this. A lot of you know this, but some of you don't. Your flywheel is right in here. Your flywheel has a fan on it. What that fan is doing is it's sucking in cold air from the outside here, and then it's going across your cylinder, and it's blowing the warm air out some of it comes out of these holes here, some of it comes across the muffler and keeps the whole engine cool. That's great for the summertime. In the wintertime, there is a feature on this where you can divert some of that warm air back into the compartment where your carburetor and your air filter is. On this chainsaw, no tools required. You just pull that uh, air filter carburetor cover off Put that aside and uh, I'm going to actually take the air filter off right now because it's just going to be easier for you to see. Put that aside too. Now you see this little plastic diverter blocker thingy right here? I know that's the technical term for that but I don't want to bore you. Now if you look really closely at that there's a couple icons on there. That one right there shows a, a picture of the sun so that's summer mode. When you flip it upside down, now it shows a snowflake, and that's winter mode right there. So now what does that do? It's in summer mode right here. The little icon that shows the sunshine is on the top side. That is blocking any of that cooling air from getting into the uh, carburetor and the air filter compartment. All of that cooling air is going through the engine. That's what you want in the summertime. Now, when you flip it upside down, Watch what happens. Here's upside down. You snap it into place. Now look at the gap here. Between where the top of that cover goes, now there's this big gap right here. And what that's doing is diverting some of that warm air, not all of it, but some of it is coming through into the compartment that houses your air filter and your carburetor keeps your carburetor a little bit warmer. And I think it's a very important that people know this. It keeps the air filter warmer too. If you're cutting in freezing cold temperatures and maybe there's a little bit of moisture, dust, uh, snow dust in the air, it can accumulate on that air filter and it will freeze your air filter and literally plug your air filter just like if there's a lot of dirt on it. And then it's gonna choke your engine out. That is why you want the winter mode, summer mode on there. Easy to do. Pop your uh, air filter back on, cover back on, and it's that simple. You're done. Not all chainsaws in the world have that feature. That's why I said at the beginning of the video, check your owner's manual to see if you have that feature on there. Um, there's also different styles of uh, how that might work in there. Some have a little slide out piece, some do that, some flip around backwards and forwards and upside down and all that stuff. If you had lost your owner's manual, look online and check and see if uh, your chainsaw has that feature on it or not. I can't go through hundreds of chainsaws here with you today and tell you if your uh, chainsaw has that feature. By the way, some backpack blowers also have that feature on it for when you're blowing snow in the winter time, but that's a different video. We're gonna get into that maybe a little later. And um, that's uh, probably it for me. I'm just gonna say, Steve, out. <laughs>